So in the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing some programs on matrix or you can say 2D array. In this video, we will talk about a program where we will find out some of individual rows and columns. Like this is a matrix, 3 into 3 matrix. Individual rows means this one row 1, 2 and 3. So some would be for 4, for this row, for this row 10, for this row it is 4. Some of individual column is like something like this. For this column it is 3, then 10, then 5. It should print like this individual rows and columns not all the elements not some of all the elements right how we will print this thing that we will discuss in this video first of all dry run this program on this whiteboard then i will practically also i will show you on my laptop so now back to the program first of all we are going to enter this matrix right just declare 3 into a 3 into 3 matrix and i and j two loops as well as some no, two variables for sum, one for rows and one for columns. So, I am taking suppose S1 and S2 for rows and columns. S1 for rows and S2 for sum of columns, right. Or maybe for better understanding, I am writing SR here. Uh, this is for a row and this is for columns, sum of rows and columns, right. Now, input Or you can say read this matrix. I hope uh, everybody is clear with this syntax because we have used this syntax many times. Right? I and J scan F I and J. This is to read the matrix 3 into 3 matrix. 3 columns and 3 rows. Right? Now, we will access the elements and as well as we are going to print the sum. Right? So, obviously 2 for loop. I should be 0 I less than 3 and i plus plus right now see i have not initialized initialized these to 0 and previous videos i have told you you have to initialize the sum to 0 otherwise it will take any garbage value why because i am going to initialize it in this for loop because i am going to print i am going to sum the individual rows so after sum after doing sum of this row right that is 4 that sum of r variable should again be initialized with a 0 for this row. Otherwise, if you will not again initialize it with a 0, then it will do what? For some, for first row it is 4, then in 4 only it will add these values. Maybe you are not getting this point right now, but it is ok. I will dry run this program, then you will get it better. Right. So, where we will initialize these sum within this for loop. Right. S R 0 and S uh, C is also 0, right? Or you can initialize something like this S R equal to S C is equal to 0, right? Now, another for loop J is equal to 0 and J less than 3 and J plus plus. Now, in this for loop, we are going to do sum, right? So, sum of rows, sum R plus a of i j and that would be stored in s r right and sum of column s c plus a of now for columns we will do what j i we will interchange it right and that is it now after this for loop after this inner loop we are going to print sum of row or you can say rather than writing this small I am writing S R equal to percentage D and sorry S R comma S C equal to uh, percentage D in one line, line, line only I am printing both the sum S R comma S C right see I am taking this S R and S C like in capital letters just to make you understand like and these are sort of sum of rows and sum of columns but according to the naming convention of that variables you can take it like first variable uh, first uh, you know uh, that um, letter of this should be small it is better to take small so you can take it in small letters also right or you can take it something like this like sum and row and sum and column like this you can also take 
right now let me just dry run this program for you then you will get the working of this for loop right see this i hope you got i have entered this one right now see i value is 0 fine i less than 3 yes condition true enter here now sr sr and sc sr sc both are zero initialized with zero within this for loop right now j is also zero condition true yes again enter here now see sr plus a of ij sr is zero plus a of ij i and j both are zero a of ij means this thing one so one plus zero that is one that would be given to this sr that is one now sc plus a of j i now both i and j are equal that is 0 0 so same variable we will access 1 and 1 plus sc is 0 and again it will become 1 right now we are in this inner loop now j plus plus j becomes 1 condition 2 yes again enter here now sr plus a of i j j is now 1 now sr is 1 plus a of 0 1 0 1 means this one 2 so 2 plus 1 3 so 3 would be assigned now to sr now sc plus sc is 1 1 plus a of now j i see it is for column right so that is why means we are accessing we, we we have to access this two right or let me just change it i am just doing it what uh, five so now we we have to access this five for this column that is why i have interchanged rather than i am taking j i so now j is one and i is zero one zero five this element 5 so 5 plus 1 that is 6 and now sc becomes 6 right now again j plus plus j becomes now 2 condition true yes enter here now sr plus a of now j is 2 0 2 0 2 means this one so sr is 3 3 plus 1 that is 4 sc plus a of now j is 2 2 0 2 0 this variable you want to access that is 0 so value would be same 6 right now again j plus plus j becomes 3 but now condition is not true so exit from this loop inner loop and after this inner loop whatever the statement that would be executed so now here obviously we have done sum of first row and sum of first column this is 4 2 1 3 and 4 and this is 6 yeah this, so we have to print this one 4 and 6 that is why within this for loop outer for loop i am printing printing sr now output would be sr equal to 4 and sc equal to what 6 that would be the output right but still we are in this outer loop so now i plus plus now i becomes 1 right now we want to sum of we want that it should give sum of this row and this column second one so that is why again we have to initialize this sr to 0 and sc to 0 if you will not initialize then it will take what 4 and 6 so 4 plus and 6 plus so it will not give you correct output that is why now i plus plus i 1 condition true again enter here now that is why i am initializing this sr and sc in this for loop not here I hope now you got my point. Now again SR and SC are 0, 0. J is again now 0. Condition true again enter here. Now SR plus. Now SR is 0 plus A of. Now I value is 1. J value is 0. So it will access 1, 0. 1, 0. That is this one. 5. 0 plus 5, 5. So it is 5. SC plus. SC is 0 plus. J is what? J value is 0 and i value is 1 so it will access 0 1 0 and 1 this one this 2 because i want sum of second column now second row and second column so now 0 plus 2 is 2 now j plus plus now j becomes 1 condition true again enter here sr plus a of i is 1 j is also 1 1 1 that is 3 means it becomes 8 sc plus both are 1 1 that is this 3 so this becomes 5 again it becomes 2 condition true enter here sr plus a of 1 and now j is 2 1 2 1 and 2 this one 1 and 2 5 8 plus 5 is 13 
and uh, SC plus now J is what 2 and is a, it is 1 2 1 means 2 and 1 so I want to access now this 5 this 5 we are accessing although both value are same but I am accessing this 5 let me change it it is 15 suppose right so now I am accessing this 15 so 15 plus 5 is 20 right now j plus plus j becomes 3 condition is not true and exit from the inner loop and now again we will print sr equal to 13 sc equal to 20 now again i become 2 condition true enter here and again we are going to initialize it with 0 and 0 because we now we are going to calculate sum of third row and third column i hope you can dry run this completely at your own right no need to complete it here so i guess it's clear to you now the logic how to do sum of individual rows and columns right so now let me just show you the output on my screen let me do the practical of this thing so now let me create one more file for you and i'm just writing what row column sum dot c right now we'll write main function and same we'll take a, an array of size 3 into 3 and uh, i j sum row i am taking and one is sum column i am taking right i'm just writing here enter matrix And now I am just writing the logic to read the matrix. Within this for loop we will use scanf. Sorry, it should be address of a of i and j right and that's it now what we will do uh, now we will do sum right so now again i am just copying the for loop from above okay so the condition would be same within this outer loop we are going to what initialize what sum row equal to both would be 0 some row and some column right now i j and here rather than scan f what just use the formula first of all sum row plus a of i j and here plus a of j i right and here I am going to print some row equal to percentage d and comma and then some column equal to percentage d. So, two variable, two percentage d, first percentage d will be replaced with whatever the value in some row and second would be whatever the value in some column variable, right. And I guess that is it, it should be int main, right. Let me save it and now let me run it, I hope it will work. say it is asking enter matrix so i am entering here uh, what value 1 2 2 2 this is second row 3 3 and 3 this is third row so i think i should print the matrix also then you will get it better let me write down the logic to print 
matrix rather than scan of here we will write print f and a of i j right slash t and here we are writing print f slash n ok now it should print the matrix matrix is I am printing like this first of all it should print like this so now let me run it center matrix it is asking 1 1 sorry so it is asking enter matrix so 1 1 1 2 2 2 3 3 3 so matrix is 1 1 1 first row so call the sum should be 3 for second row it's 6 for third it's 9 right now for this column matrix 1 2 3 sum sum is all the column should be like same 6 so yeah it is printing correct output so you can try it at your own and maybe you can modify it like sum of rows columns as well as sum of diagonal you can also print right so that is assignment for you you can print that thing and you can send me that program maybe you can message me on my, him on my instagram account right so now i'll see you in the next video with a new program till then bye bye take care